So here we are on Wednesday of this week, right before the fourth Sunday of Advent. That's how quickly this season is going. And I've got the candles lit. Um, I'm going to start with joy tonight because this candle, pink, uh, is the joy candle in this week. And my joy is that um, this goofy little candle is just being finicky this year (laughs) and doesn't want to cooperate like the others. The others are just shining beautifully and doing everything they're supposed to, but this little guy is being finicky. And so I'm just taking some joy in the fact that this pink candle is a little bit of a rebel this uh, this year in Advent. And you know what? It's it's the season that brings us so much hope that we should be able to be joyful and, and find humor in whatever happens to us and just uh, let that go because, uh, because so much better stuff out there that is upon us and that we're talking about. So here's my hope message for tonight. Jesus means he saves. That's what Jesus' name means. He saves. And in the Bible, in the Greek especially, the word savior, sozo, or salvation, sozo, refers to healing more than anything else. Healing. So often we think about salvation and the Savior coming. You know, Advent is preparing for the Savior to come to us. So often we think about salvation as life after death, eternal life. But salvation really means healing, which can be life after death. You know, the ultimate healing is Jesus raising someone from the dead and giving them new life in heaven. Their life, which was once so broken that it was dead, is healed and brought back into a new life and a new possibility. But think about healing and all the ways that healing can happen and needs to happen in our lives. The healing of our bodies through medicine and science and doctors and nurses and care and strength. Or the healing of our minds through therapists and psychologists and psychiatrists and and science and help through medicine. Think about how people's lives are healed like that. Think about relationships that are healed when reconciliation happens. People own up to mistakes they've made and, and the other person forgives. That's healing. There's so many ways that healing happens. Think of the earth being healed. Think of, um, think of uh, restoration projects around lake shores that actually heal and eroding earth. Or think about uh, fields that lay fallow for a while and, and heal and, 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 and gather back their, their resources, their chemicals, uh, their natural chemicals, all kinds of healing. So you know where my greatest hope is today. We've heard just in the last day or two that a vaccine for COVID is here. Man, my goodness. Think of the hope that that is giving all kinds of people, frontline workers especially, and people who are in the most vulnerable of situations, and ultimately, finally, us as well. I hope you're taking that that possibility seriously. We know that when the majority of the people in our country and in our world receive a vaccine, that will bring an end to COVID-19. It will heal us. It will show us a new chapter of our lives that has just been rent asunder in so many, many ways and places. So my hope during this Advent is that God, having sent Jesus, the healer, to this earth, is still working the healing that Jesus brings. And that, my friends, might be one of the greatest Christmas gifts we can receive this year. So thanks for coming along today, and we will see you tomorrow.